Hello my fellow sneakerheads, this is Sneaker Residence Benjamin Scott. Welcome to a brand new episode of Sneaker Jam's Viewer's Choice. And on today's episode, I'm going to show you a pair of some awesome Air Jordans and believe me, they're like a badass. Check them out. Oh, whoa! Oh, look at that. Look at these bad boys right here. These are the bread Air Jordan 4s. Here's some sneaker facts. These shoes were released back on January 1st, 1989. And of course it was created by Tinker Hatfield as well. I mean, check out the texture of the shoe right here. It has a great silhouette. I mean, you can see the holes right here for the shoestrings. And of course, I can feel the soft nylon or cotton, whatever you're, whatever it is. And you can see the red and the gray paint right here. And in the bottom of the shoe right here, it has the CBC approval. Comfortable, balanced, and casual. No doubt about that. Bonus sneaker facts. May the 7th, 1989, Michael Jordan has worn these shoes during the Easter Conference semifinals between both the Chicago Bulls and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The clock was running down and Michael Jordan had to take the shot. And before you know it, by the buzzer beater, Bulls have won that game. And of course, Michael Jordan was jumping for joy that time. And they went on to the next round of the Easter Conference Finals. But of course, they were destroyed by who else? The bad boys are Detroit Pistons. But it was a great, memorable game when Michael Jordan made the shot on May 7th, 1989. And get this, last year it already celebrated its 30 year anniversary. It has been re-released under the retro and as you see, on the back of the shoe, it does have the Jumpman logo, just like underneath the shoe right here. And you can see the Jumpman logo right there, along with the word flight on its tongue. <laughs> I love these Jordans. In fact, I did two photo shoes occasionally. One for at the beginning of January and also and of course into March of this year and it was great to work with some awesome photographers and my fellow models including one of my fellow models Tazzy Anderson big shout out to her what's up Taz I love these Jordans and you still see me wear these babies in both photo shoots and runway shows too. And you can also, you know, see me wear these babies when I go to work. Because I am a bagger at Julasco, but I still love wearing these every single day. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I know you do. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I'm a sneakerhead for life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're definitely going to see me wear these pups every single day. No doubt about that. <laughs> Gotta love them. That's why the sneaker game is really, really strong to everybody out there. For those who are wearing Jordans, hey, you can still rock them every single day. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. That's part about being yourself. If you can't be yourself, well, <laughs> nobody can't accept you. And I mean that for real. What I mean for real, I mean for real. No doubt about that. That's why all of us are individuals with different dreams where we can crack out of that shell where we become superstars. And that's how I did. I became a superstar. And I'm now a Chicago top model. I am an RCCI award winner for Special Model of the Year. I'm also a, let me see, number two was 
the Community Activist of the Year. I'm also a various artist award winner and, last but not least, a world champion. I am the first ever autistic Grand Slam winner and I'm proud. And I want to thank the Lord and I want to thank you guys for supporting me every single day. It means that from, to me from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much. No doubt about that. I love you guys. 100%. You definitely see me do more of my modeling career every single day. 100% every day, all day. I mean that for real. Because you can make a difference. Because we can all be independent every day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this awesome episode of Sneaker Jam's Viewer's Choice. Now, if you want to know, which casual sneakers will I show you on our sneaker jams? Or better yet, which special guest shall I bring on sneaker jam? Or here's my third choice. Which sneaker debate will I share to you guys on sneaker jam? Well, that's for me to know and you to find out. So stay tuned to the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless y'all. Be safe. Make sure you wash your hands every 20 seconds and put on a lot of hand sanitizer along with wearing your mask when you go outside or when you're working. And don't forget to stay six feet away from people so you don't have to catch the COVID-19. And I mean that for real. 100% because this COVID-19 is no joke. Just remember, we're all in this together every single day. And as always, this is Sneaker Residence Benjamin Scott saying, I'll see you guys next time. So God bless y'all. Peace. And always remember, lace them up and kick it with Sneaker Jams. Later.